Hello everybody, this is Ludi Cole 15. Welcome back to another part of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. Last time we finished Route 9, made it to Cerulean City, found out the shady guy who was ruining the power plant was a Team Rocket Grunt who went off back to his country and spoiler, he's going to black and white and you know whenever we get there. And we made it to we explored routes 24 and 25, realizing that there were the the, the six gauntlet trainers defeated them all, and now we're here finishing the rest of this route because there aren't any trainers left, but there's more, a couple more stuff to explore. First off, if we go in this house, this is Bill's grandfather's house. Last time when Bill was here in the last let's play, he basically was through a failure experiment, and we we got the SS and ticket, SS ticket from him when we helped him, and now his grandpa lives here. Hmm, you are here for my grandson. His name is Bill. He's in Johto. He does something with PC, so I'm Hell City. Oh, my grandson mentioned a round blue Pokemon that has leaves growing in its head. If you have that Pokemon, may I see it, please? No, I sadly do not have it. You don't have it, it's too bad. What Pokemon he's referring to? He's referring to Oddish, basically. This is the guy who gives you evolutionary stones if you have the Pokemon he's looking for. If you have... Basically, he'll be looking for Oddish. He'll be looking for Growls or Vulpix based on which version you're playing. He'll look for Star Uve on Correct, I'm hope, and he'll also be looking for Pikachu. No, no, no. He'll be looking for the baby for a Pikachu. We'll be able to go Pikachu over eventually, but the other three we've been able to obtain. If you're playing Gold and Silver, this is the point of the game where you can obtain Evolutionary Stones. This slay in the game. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking when you couldn't buy Evolutionary Stones. You can buy them now, but not stores or anything like that, so you have to earn them through some other means other than department stores, right? Which, at least it's not fine anymore, unlike in Gold Silver where they was. In Crystal, there were guys who were able to give you evolution to through phone numbers, and the same thing applies in this game, too. And the other thing we can show off is Misty right here. She's on a date with her boyfriend. Yep, she's taken now. Sorry, Ash. Sorry, Pokeshipper. She's taken. And her boyfriend ran away. Aw, why did you have to show up and bug us now? Hey, aren't you afraid of... Do you know what they call people like you? Pests. You heard me right. Pest. Oh, those badges you have. Are they Johto Gym badges? If you have eight, you must be good. Okay, then. Come to Cerulean Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader of Cerulean. So, yep. We couldn't doubt Misty because she was on, her, on a date with her boyfriend. And now, now we're called Pests and she's returning back. This little area here is a bit important. After you defeat Misty, you want to come back here later on. However, I'm actually not going to come back here until next episode just because there is something we could do here in this route, but I'm not going to do it until I finish the until I finish this episode, until I'm done with the episode. I'll be doing the next episode instead. You'll see what it is. But it is a bit important since it does finish off a little quest we started a long time ago. And now we're back in Cerulean City, and today we're going to be taking on the gym. And most likely, well, afterwards, I should figure out what I'm going to do, because I was going to do the whatever was above us, but instead I'll probably go to Lavender Town. That's probably my idea. The route I haven't explored yet. First, I'm going to the Pokemon Center because I need to heal, and I need to pick up Mary. Because Mary is going to be helping us in this gym. Also, you have a serious nature. That's neutral. I just want to check Slack Off out. Uh, what can you do? Or, what do your stats look like? Alright, that's expected. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I might go over one new encounter, but that's mostly likely gonna be it, though. That's my plan. But now we're gonna take on this rolling gym. This gym is, well, I'm, of course, because, like, oh, I need heal. Silly me. Cerulean gym is not gonna be hard. Uh, it's water types, and... I already got quite a few, I already got Solar Beam, though then again it's not going to be too helpful. And I've got a couple Electric type users, I've got Sunnyside with Thunderbolt, and I've got Mary with Discharge. I think I'll be good enough with those two by themselves. I'm just hoping that is enough. The other team members aren't really going to be doing much. Cause, yeah. You guys are all 55, and are you 55? You can't see from here. No, you're 56. Okay, you're not battling. You three need to get level up, so. I'm gonna save Octavia for later. I'm gonna send a, a Sunny's aside first thing first. That's my plan for this gym. 
Oh, and because uh, the sh uh, the Team Rocket Shady Guy member hit the machine here, we have to pick it up while we're here too. Yo, Legend in the Making, since Misty was away, I went out for some fun too. <laughs> I'm assuming he's taken. But anyways, we're gonna take on the gym. Well, I'm first, come and get me. He doesn't have to be first, there's uh, little girls over there we can fight first. Parker, I definitely know a guy named Parker, but that, that was junior high. Anyways, uh, Thunderbolt, the horsey, because Thunderbolt is going to kill a horsey. Why wouldn't it? What if it, there is one Pokemon in here who's immune to electric, so you might want to have a grass type just in case. I unfortunately do not, but at the same time, I'm not too worried. Seedra, same thing. Who knows, it might live a Thunderbolt, because I'm not a great special attacker, but I've got the choice that's on. I'm not scared. So, do pack a grass move, or if not, have some counter to... That Pokemon. But right now I'm not worried. Parker's down. This can't be. Really guys? This is a gym. You're all meant to be taken down. I'm gonna fight you guys. The sailors first. I've been relaxing pole size, so I've got enough strengths. Okay, sure, pal. I mean I've got strength too, and most people say too. Eddie on! It's not the right Eddie. I was thinking of Eddie from Ed and Eddie, obviously. But that's an IE, not a Y. And Zumarill, okay. This is definitely gonna live a Thunderbolt. It's pretty bulky, but without huge power, this thing is just bulky and really outclassed. Well, in this generation, it's not that bad, and oh, never mind, it didn't live it. Alright, we're good. Good job, Sunnyside. You can't win with strength alone. For sure. Whatever you say, pal. We've got some women to fight, and I'm gonna take care of these women, obviously. I'm gonna go this way. So you do need Surf in order to fight these trainers, but you don't need Surf for, to, to defeat this gym, I'm hoping, anyway. But those sailors blocking us. Sorry about being away. Let's get on with it. Uh, uh, okay, sure. So I love that the gym, like, this gym, like, the background just turns into the swimming thing just because it's not in the gym. Like, it's a gym, but it's because we're swimming. Instead, we're just treated like we're swimming instead of actually in a, in a building. And you're faster than me, but I didn't use a move, I oh, am. So you're dead now. If a Zubro can't live it, I'm pretty sure you cannot live a Thunderbolt either. See? Easy as that. I told you Sunny said was going to do it. I told you all. Deanna's dad, I definitely know a girl named Deanna. Classmates, nothing else let you say. Doctor, swimming isn't just about speed, it's also about the beauty of grace. So, sure, I'm not really much of a swimmer. Joy, so you're basically Nurse Joy, but for swimmers, I'm guessing? And Cloyster is not a very good special tank. It's gotta be one of the best physical walls, but it's gotta be one of the weaker special walls because of its low HP. So yeah, it's not gonna love a Thunderbolt from a Blissey. Dead. And that's gonna give us a level up that quickly, because fast level up rates are fast level up rates. I lost beautifully. Uh, okay, you wanna be a contest person? Sure. With that done. I'm gonna send up Mary or Octavio. Well, Mary makes the most sense, but. I... Uh, I'll, I'll send up Mary. Sure. Oh, and the item is supposed to be there, for sure. Don't get nervous watching my magnificent swimming. Okay, sure. Everybody thinks they have the best swimmer out here now. Brianna. I'm pretty sure I... I know people named Bianca. I'm pretty sure I don't know anybody named Brianna, though. Just because they have, like, all Brianna or something like that. This charge should kill you. If Blissey can kill stuff with Thunderbolt, I'm pretty sure you can too, Mary. See? Easy. At the time of recording this, by the way, it is uh, Friday or Saturday. I can't count today. Uh, no, it's Saturday. Because school's starting soon. It's Saturday at the time of recording this. Then we're seeking. It is afternoon either way that is, because I'm usually record afternoon nowadays. You're not nervous at all. 
so with that done, now we're done. That quickly. So now all I have to do is just fight Misty. However, I'm not really worried. And there it is. Basically, you have to look over for the machine part here, and it's in a life preserver, basically. So now with this done, we can go back to the power plant and fix the issue in there. And we will be doing that. Probably next episode. And we are with Misty already. I'm gonna save, because why not? And I feel like Mary's gonna... Oh, actually, I don't want to send out Mary for this. I do not want to send out Mary. Here's why. Come on. I don't want to send out Mary for this fight. I want to send out Octavio, because... As if you guys all watch the anime, which I'm pretty sure majority of you have, you all know what her biggest week of fear is. Let's talk to her. I was expecting you, you pest. You may have a lot of gym badges, but you better not take me too lightly. My war type Pokemon are tough. Guys, we need to be Misty! Okay, we don't I had to do the joke. I did it last I didn't do it last split, but I titled it. I joke. Here we are, Misty, the war type gym leader. I think this will be Oh my goodness! Never mind. I thought for sure you were gonna start off with Stormy, but sure, you'll start off with Golduck instead. My goodness, I can't predict anything today. And why are you signal beam? This thing is not psychic type. Crud. I was expecting Starmie first thing first. And yeah, it'll definitely live us. It's fine, disable my signal beam, sure. I don't care. So anyway, I, I said no Octavio because Octavio's got a bug type move and Misty's afraid of bugs. We all know that, right? Good. We all know that Misty's afraid of bug types. That's all you gotta do is just send out a bug type. You'll be scared of it and scared of giving you the badge. That's all you have to do. With gold luck down, we're gonna get experience and even level up. Where's Starmie? I want you to send out Starmie. Then again, I already have a single beam user. And Quagsire. What is this thing at? Yeah, this is basically the Pokemon you don't want to use electric type moves on, obviously. What can this thing do? It's a tank, but it's got low special. Defense. Psychic will definitely. It should do at least half. But I'm terrified this thing could use amnesia because this thing can learn it, obviously. Wow. That barely did any damage. Ooh. What do I send out here? And you know what? This sounds like a bad idea, but I'm going to send out solar. I shouldn't be doing this, but it's type coverage. I have it for a reason. And there's Earthquake. That's gonna do some damage. I thought it'd be okay, but boy did I regret it. Hey, how much is it gonna do? It did half! Okay, cool. Never mind, I'm not sending you out anymore. Go Acrobatics! I thought we used the Solar Beam, but no. Alright, there you go, see? And you know, because it grounds is poison, I know that. And because Acrobat, because I was. Because I thought it'd be, it wouldn't be a good idea to teach Acrobat's Giga Drain. I missed! Don't get confused. Don't get confused. Come on. Please don't. Don't. Good. Hit. Please. This is why I wish that Solar Beam wasn't just my only grass move. Now, of course, I could just teach Giga Drain to Acrobat's. That would be the smarter moves that can get tight coverage. But Acrobat shouldn't really be a physical, a, a special attacker. And Lapras, that's a bit scary. Ice Beam will definitely be scary, so we're gonna send out Mary. We're gonna let Mary do the rest of the job. Mary hasn't got a chance to fight much, and he's doing it now. Watch it freeze me with Ice Beam. Watch. Ready? It's gonna freeze me. Ready? Ready? Watch it. Watch. Ready? Raising my dumb luck? Okay. Oh, I almost used Signal Beam. Like, no, don't do it. Alright, we're faster somehow. I. Maybe, I thought I was going to use Ice Shard, but it knows, well, it's a mixed attacker, but like, I don't know if Lapras is like the slowest Pokemon ever. Paralyzed. Good. Stay paralyzed. Nope. Of course not. Why would that ever happen? Nope, nope, nope. Absolutely not. Crit. And there's the freeze. Look at that beautiful luck of mine. Look at that beautiful luck of my. Look at that dumb luck. Why are you using Ice Beam? You surf. You've got it, don't you? That's gonna kill me, isn't it? We're done. Unbefreaking believable. It freezes me. 10% or 5%, I don't know. But it freezes me. I'm not letting Mary just lose like this. No. It is, it, we're not doing it like this. You're paralyzed. Stay paralyzed. That's all you have to do. 
I didn't have to use potions, but because you freeze me, of course I'm, nothing good will ever happen with me. All because you couldn't be paralyzed. Look at that useful quick cloth thaw out. Nope. Mary, we need to talk about your habits of just getting bad luck now all of a sudden. We need to talk about this. Two quick cloths, you're not even gonna thaw out. See? What am I supposed to do? Of course, I could just use an ice heal. I'm just gonna see if Mary can get through. I'm gonna keep using hyper potions because the game thing is really funny to just screw me over with freeze hacks. I really think it is. Oh, oh my goodness, now you're just gonna use body slam. Thank you. See, is why I didn't use an ice heal. I was like, it's gonna thaw out soon. Dead. That did not need to be longer than that. That lapper should not have been as long as it should have been, but nope. Freeze hack is all we need in order to screw me over. And we have Star Army. I thought you were going to send this thing out first, but boy, why would that ever happen? Hmm, you're pretty good. Oh, now you get the useful quick claw. Alright, this isn't so bad. Paralyze, please. Just paralyze. 30% chance to paralyze, and then Lapras gets a 10 or 5% chance to... Oh my goodness! You didn't even paralyze! Really? <sighs> Don't do it again. Don't do it. Don't you freaking do it. Ready? It's gonna do it. Okay, we're good. Forest door? Forest door? Nope. Oh, quick call, right. Okay, good. I was like, don't do it again! Don't do it again! But that takes care of Misty. That's like what? Five badges down? Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Lieutenant Surgery. Yeah. That takes care of five badges now. You really good, aren't good. I'll admit that you are scaled. Here you go, it's a Cascade badge. Normally in the games, this will allow you to use. What does it allow you to use again? Cut? Isn't it? I forget, I'm pretty sure it's cut. And also, Shikizu TMO3 Water Pulse. 60 power, 100 accuracy, special move that has a chance to confuse your opponent. I went over a couple Pokemon who could take advantage of it, like Persian or any technician Pokemon. It could take, yeah, yeah, we get it. So with the, with the item collected and move! Oh my goodness, this guy. Because I, I decided to just not heal. And Mary didn't even level up. That's just sad. We're got to send out Mary. Yes. How much time has it been? It's already been almost 20 minutes. Really? All right. Well, there goes my plans of doing one round. Oh, I might have enough time to take care of the next route. But with Missy done, we can go back to Power Plant and finish the rest of the plot, which I probably will. Honestly, I should. Mother. Always calling me every time I'm done with the gym. Right, it's Saturday. Then really am blind. My goodness, move. But with Misty done, we can go back to Route 25, take care of one little quest, but I'm not going to be doing it until the next episode because after how long it's been already, I really just don't want to catch a certain Pokemon. And I don't think I have the proper like idea to go over the bio of it too. So I'm going to go to the next couple routes. I'm going to go back to Lavender Town. That's probably my idea for the, the rest of the episode. Can't talk today. Jeez. So what we're we doing, you ask? We're going to be going down this route. And he hit abs. We're going down Route 5 here. Route 5 is basically a throwaway route, except for this right here. This is the only significance with this route here. This right here. I sent the citizen shadow all the way over you. Just give me the cleanse tag. That just, don't we have another one? If so, it basically kind of repels from wild Pokemon. Oh no, it's the first one. But yeah, I really, I'm, you're better off with repels. My grandma is, is into warding off what she believes to be evil spirits. I'm sorry that she stalled you. These two remind me of those characters from the Paris episode where Ash tried to help out Cassandra evolving her Paris in a Paris weekly anime. Props to all of you who know that episode. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows it because Paris is like the weakest thing in existence. That Paris in the anime is like the weakest Pokemon in existence. Also, there aren't any new encounters here I can go over. 
The road is closed until the problem with the power plant is solved. Yeah, this guy's blocking us from the underground and we can't open it until we're done with the power plant thing. We'll be doing that next episode for getting rid of it. You're for Jodo, aren't you? How do you like Kanto? It's nice, don't you agree? How many cities have you visited? Have you been into Cerulean City already? The view of Cerulean Cape is really something, isn't it? It's a good place for dates. Do you have anyone in mind? Sorry, I'm praying too much. So basically, uh, we already went to Cerulean City, so it really doesn't matter much to me. But you could have gone here a while ago. But anyhow, we're back in Saffron City. And in Saffron City, we're not really going to do anything. We're just going to go this way instead. We're going to the right of this town. The city. My bad. I can't even control my thing. Jeez. Have you been in the Lavender Town? There's a tall radio tower here. So now, because I haven't taken care of this route, I'm going to take care of this route now. This place is closed because the other place was already closed, so this one's going to be closed. I think I have enough time to go uh, take care of this route here. It's been 21 minutes. I don't, this route isn't that long either. I'm just hoping I do have enough time. And I'm trying to think of the next gym. I think I'll be fine. We're the Kanto Pokemon Federation Trainer Group. We'll drive you under our wheels. Please, there's more bikers for us to deal with, meaning more poison types. And there is a new encounter, but I'll go over it once I get to find the grass. Otherwise, we're just gonna discharge his coughing and move on. While I talk, while I uh, also about this guy, I forgot to mention that Yanna is the swarm encounter back at Route 35, is it? Where Bugcatcher Arnie is. In the original games, you gave you a call to win Yanna swarm, but that's the swarm encounter in there. That I don't think I went over that. I, I did go over Yama, obviously, but like that is a swarm encounter that I forgot to mention. Well, the other ones I did mention back in like part 40 something. This uh, Yanna I forgot to mention. Yama is also encountered in the next co in the Route 11 here in Kanto, so if you don't want to go to Jota to find one, then there you go, you can find it through there. Oh yeah, Mary leveled up. I'm just gonna finish fighting with Mary. As for the next gym, I, uh, next gym will not be hard. Like, legit, not hard. And you've got literally nothing but copies in Dwayne. I know a guy named Wayne, but not Dwayne. But nothing else I can say about that, man. I could have sworn I know someone named Dwayne or, Dwayne, or at least a character. I'm probably forgetting. But hey, he's done. S sorry. Are they trying to make like a Rydal joke? Or I don't know. Let's move on. Uh, who should I send out? I've got two Earthquake user. I've got a Psychic user. Sure, we'll use a Psychic user. Who knows, one of these guys probably has a wheezing too. The cops shut down our underground pass. That really annoys me. So you guys are the ones responsible for not letting me get to the underground pass, huh? And Harris, I know a teacher my name is Mr. Harris I'll be having for physics, but otherwise, nothing much else. And you send out Flareon? Dude, that's the false prophet right there. You're going down big time. Surf is gonna kill you. Flareon is frail. Well, special defense, like all the evolutions are alright, but Flareon is just low HP, low speed, quite frankly, it's just not going to do well. Harris is down. Forgive me. So sorry, forgive me, what's next? I apologize. We're the Kanto Pokemon Federation, rock on! They, like, most of these trainers really don't have interest in terms of lines. Team Plasma has some of the better lines in black and white just because their lines are actually funny and they have better goals. In general, just Team Plasma in general is way better in terms of having the best lines in majority of the Pokemon games. Just saying. Click coughing down, get more experience. It's gonna take a while for us to get to 60. Who knows, maybe we will reach level 60 by the end of Kanto. And I mean my what I mean by is when I get to the last area in the game. And then I'll be doing a lot of grinding on my own again. Which is why I'm recording heavily in advance. Like what is it, part 53 by the t while I'm recording this? I have no idea. Yikes, sorry. So they say like the same thing. Jeez. All these trainers feel the same anyway. TM41 Torment. I'm pretty sure this move basically just doesn't allow you to use the same move twice, if I'm correct. Like, I remember Taunt easily, but Torment, not so much. Yeah, I basically where your opponent can't really use the same move twice in a row. 
And you also need cut in order to, to get the grass, but the grass there is a new encounter I can go over. And that Pokemon is Kadabra! Yep, if you didn't catch Abra a long time ago, back around 34, then here's Kadabra now. Kadabra is a pretty solid Pokemon as it is, even if you can't trade to evolve, I can still recommend Kadabra. Psychic around level 40, recover through level up. Unfortunately, Calm Mind is a TM, and you really can't obtain Calm Mind. Uh, Calm Mind is basically accessible to you in Battle Frontier. Otherwise, good luck obtaining it. And as for Kadabra itself, if I can find this land in the game, I feel like you're better off just raising an Abra. But if you do, if you like want to find a Kadabra here, then there you go for your Pokedex for some reason. There you go, here's Kadabra. Really, considering that we found Abra a long time ago, yeah, you're better off just raising the Abra. Still gets good moves, though it lost the elemental punches. But in return, with fully evolved, you can get Focus Blast, and otherwise you've got Energy Ball or Grass Knot and Charge Beam. It's an alright all right Pokemon. It's just. Not as good as it was back then just because of its broken typing and the elemental punches giving me a great coverage. But it's still workable to say the least. Just better off with the Abra you caught a while ago, long time ago. So with that done, we're gonna finish the rest of this, uh, this route. How does the magic train work? Uh, dude, it basically just takes you a golden rod, but you can just fly and maybe save some time. And it only works on specific days. The Magnet Train is quite frankly pointless if you ask me, like really, you don't really need it often. It only works on specific day, once a day, and then you're better off just fly, you can just fly over to Goldenrod from flying the Indigo League and then the Goldenrod. That's what you can do. It's really pointless. And as I just remember, the Magnet Train quest is actually mandatory because you need to get rid of a certain that Pokemon near a Diglett's cave in order to even progress. And you live the psychic. Well, you are a special tank, it's just not coming. And your defense sharply rose. I forgot acid armor is actually not bad on this thing because it's a solid tank. But quite frankly, Weezing has always been the better tank just because it only has one weakness. Sam is down. I wish I had the chance to see the Magnet Train. You could do Saffron City is just like a few feet away from you. Just go to the Okay, sure. At the very least, I'm gonna have Sunny Side out now, and I want Acrobatics out too. I thought these two will do alright for this dull battle here. Do I. Do I look weak? Don't make me laugh. When I'm with Lulu, I got a hundred times more courage. Mo and I make a great pair. You should prepare yourself. Oh, they're. Oh, they're like Ike. Prepare yourself. I'm not really an Ike main in Smash Bros. Oh, oh! Who's the one with the low tat? Whoever it is, you or you, sir or madam, have a great taste in Pokemon. And I did not mean to use softball, we're gonna use Shadow Ball. Whoever it is has great taste in Pokemon. You've gained my respect, whoever is using low tat. Probably Lulu. I'm assuming one of you is playing Ruby, the other is playing Sapphire. Or if not, they're both playing Emerald. But then again, you can't find both of these Pokemon in this game. I have yet to go over C Dot and Low Tad, I don't even know if I'll be able to go over that Pokemon. You'll see why soon, eventually. I'm thinking of doing bonus episodes at the end of the. or a, lo, a later time. Like, once I'm done with the Let's Play, I'm probably not gonna do bonus episodes for a while. And Mother get calling us again. I should have enough time to finish this route. Uh. It's been about 30, 29 minutes. I think we do have enough time to finish this route. Hmm, you got so many, you got many badges. Yeah, sir. Yeah, dude, thanks. Tyrone! It's Tyrant! I'm sorry, I had to do that joke from my, some of my less aged series in my YouTube channels. I'm not going to talk about. Yeah, I know you're the Shadow Ball in this generation, but I'm not scared. What are you going to do? Discharge me to death? Wow, it actually lived it. I didn't see that coming. And lock on what? Lock on what? You don't have Zap Cannon. I always like doing that joke with Tyrone, it's Tyrant on my own, even when I was a child. It sounds wrong, but that's kinda like the point. And another Magnemite, what level is it? 40. Okay, uh so he said we're gonna need you to get a critical hit here. We need you to get a critical hit. Like badly. Oh man. Discharge, uh, please don't paralyze me. Okay, we're good. 
If you have a Magneton, I'll probably swap out, but at the same time, I'm not worried. It's just a nerd. What's it gonna do to me? What's it gonna do? Bully me? I need a crit. Come on, give it to me or get the damage range. Please, Sunny Side, get the damage range or if not, get a critical hit. That'd be great. Please. Nope. Three times in a row, and then you get this, the special defense drop, but it's not gonna matter much. Alright, use lock on, we're good. So down goes Magnemite, and that takes care of Tyrone. Just as I thought, you're tough. So what's left? Well, we have this old man here. I'm pretty sure the last guy we have left. And I'm gonna stay in with Sunnyside. Really? These, these cancer routes are really short. I am but a gentleman stopped on the road. Would you care to join me in a quick contest? Dude, contests are not a thing in this game. You cannot catch feedback in this game either. Milton, I definitely know a guy named Milton in my Spanish and history class. And Intimidate, oh, Doggo giving Intimidate on me. Yeah, I don't care, dude. I'm a special attacker here with good special defense. Not worried. But can I kill with Thunderbolt? Okay, cut, I can. Good job, Sunnyside. You were very skillful and get a lot of money. I should have used my amulet coin. So now, world up, we can pick this up and then we're back at, at Lavender Town. We're basically gonna go ahead back to. We're gonna go ahead back to. The power plant in the next episode, and Mother calling me again. So, next episode, what we're planning to do is go head back to. La uh, head back to Cerulean Cape. Cape, or what's it called? We're gonna go finish the one little quest we have left, and then also explore, and then also go back to the power plant in the next episode to take care of the. To get back to the machine part, and then, yeah, we're gonna end it from there. See you guys next time for Pokemon Heart Gold, where we'll be making a lot more progress. And yeah, that's about it, really. Nothing much else to say, it's just we're gonna finish two quests in one part. And then afterwards, we're probably gonna go explore Route 11, since that's the last route we have yet last last explore. I'm trying to see where my map is. My goodness, I can't, I can't see. Yeah, since the last route we have yet to explore is basically Route 11, and then we'll be going to Rolling Cave, uh, Diglett's Cave, and then head somewhere here. That's our plan. Later. I already saved it, and I, yeah, I did. I'm gonna go heal as well on my own. Later.